So let's see, inverse functions. Uh, let me think of a way to explain it to you. Let's say we have this box here, magic box. Now, I really don't have any talent when it comes to drawing anything. But if I take a bird as my bird, and I feed it through the box, the bird's going to come out as a cat. Now, all my four-legged animals look the same. They all look like they're pregnant. And they all look like anteaters. I don't know. This is the function f. The inverse function of that is the reverse. What does that mean, the reverse? If I take that cat now, looks like an anteater now, and feed it through is going to give me what? The bird back. So that's what the inverse function. Well, I could, but you know, I'm working on my talent there, Serene. Yep, well, every time you see me draw an animal, that's what they're gonna look like. But what do you notice about this? Look, let's look at this function, because there's actually a lot of stuff you can see. The domain of F, what do you notice? Happens to be the same as what? The range of this function. The range of the inverse. What else we notice? That the range of f is what? Is actually the same as the domain of. So the domain here becomes the range there. The range here becomes the domain there. We flip flop them. Plus, it takes the fun out of it. I like drawing pictures. If you liked it more, you'd be better at it. Uh, sure. You shouldn't draw it. I should just hide that picture. I shouldn't even take a snapshot of it. Just write bird and cat. Yeah, true. I could. <laughs> or circles, as she said, like squares and. Uh, shapes in them that's the problem i get the science in my brain i don't have the other part of it graphically by the way uh well if i gave you these points just to make sure you understand the inverse and the, the domain if i said this is the function f has these points in it five and seven three and eight nine and eleven what do you think that the inverse of that function will be then? Seven, five, yep, eight. seven and five, eight and three, and what? Eleven and nine. Because the domain here becomes the range, the domain, the first set of values, the range here becomes the domain. <coughs> They undo each other. They cancel each other out. Actually, one way to test to see if you have an inverse function, we all say if you take the inverse of a function, these two should cancel each other out and you should end up with x, whatever x is. So if you take the function of the inverse of a cat, I write the word cat here, Guess what the answer should be? Better be a cat, the same cat. If you don't believe me, here's my calculator. Pick any number. Positive, negative, doesn't matter. I got two and six will make it 26. How is that? Watch this. On this calculator, on any calculator, you have a sign and the inverse of sign right above it. Sine to the minus one, cosine to the minus one. These are the inverse of each other. It doesn't matter which one I hit first. But if I said to you, 
What is the inverse of the sine of sine 30 degrees? If I'm right here, what is the answer should be? Better be 30 degrees. If I, someone said uh, 2 here, what is the tangent? I'll do it backward here. Of the inverse tangent of 2. Guess what the answer is? 2. They undo each other. Graphically, how do we find the inverse? If I have this function, and as it show me the inverse, I don't know. Uh, I always draw them like that. What is the inverse of the function? If this is f, can you graph the inverse? Well, this is what you need to do. Draw y equals to x, which is a 45 degree line. And take that function and flip it over that red dotted line. If you do that, what is the graph going to look like? Like that. That's the inverse now. Another one, if my function was like this, and I say, what's the inverse of it? This is f here. Can you graph the inverse of it? This is y equals to x here. Flip it over. Oh, boy. I'm not really good with visualizing. Here we go. That's the inverse of it. Just take it and fold it over that dotted line. Now, mathematically, how do we find the inverse? If I gave an expression and I said, find the inverse for it. If I said, OK, this is f of x. x plus 7. Now, I want you to find the inverse of that. There's a few steps we need to follow. The first step, what I do, I'm going to replace f of x with y. So that question becomes y equals x plus 7. Step number 2. I'm going to interchange x and y. Oh, x and y. Meaning what? x becomes y and y becomes x. Interchange x and y, so this becomes x equals y plus 7. And what's the last step? Solve it for y. So you got what? x minus 7 equals y, and that's your inverse function. f of minus x, or f negative 1 of x, is x minus 7. That is the inverse of this function. Somebody pick any number you want to. Hundred. Okay. Let's see if we're right. What's f of one hundred? Plug it in. Hundred plus seven, which is what? One oh seven. Now if we did it right, if I take the one oh seven and plug it in here, 
Guess I'm going to have. Better be the 100. Get it back. So what's the inverse of 107? It's 107 minus the 7, which is what? 100. So this one, this function undid what that one did. We took 100. We fed it through this box. Notice what happened here. We have that 100. We fed it through this box, the F here. And that box gave me what? 107. Now the inverse one says, hey, if you take the 107 now and feed it to me, you should get back your what? Your 100. And that's what we got. They cancel each other out. If you have kids, little ones at home, cleaning the rooms, like you and your kids are the inverse of each other. You walk in, you clean the room, you organize it, you leave, you come back, everything is a mess. They undo everything that you did. And that's really what the inverse is. You cancel each other out. They undo what they did. What this one did, this will undo it. And vice versa. If you want to prove you have an inverse function, all you got to do, just say, if I did them right, if I do f of the inverse of the function, it should be equal to x. Or if I do the inverse of f of x, it should give me x. That's how we test to see if we did it, if we have the right answer. And it doesn't matter which one you test it. So I'll pick this one. What is f of f of x? Well, what's f of x? f of x is what? x plus 7, right? And from section 3, it says, how do you find the answer to this? You go to the inverse function. Go to what? The inverse function, do what? Replace x with what? x plus 7. This one says, take the x and it put x plus 7. Let's go to this inverse function and replace x with x plus 7. So you have x plus 7. There's also minus 7. What do you end up with? x? And we just proved that this one is the inverse of that. 